Miss Danielle here, and I have a word for you. Let them watch. Yes, some of us, we are dealing with people who do not treat us right. They think they can walk in and out of our life. They think they can take us for granted. They think they can, you know, do whatever they want. Let them watch. So look, the verse for this video is Psalms 23.5, and it reads, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. So look, the point of this video is to tell you that you are a good person. A lot of us, we treat people right. We come into relationships genuine. We come into relationships to actually love a person, to actually build with the person, to actually, you know, do what a relationship is supposed to do. You feel me? The point of a relationship is to... You know, be in relation with a person, get married, have a family, serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's the point of a relationship. A lot of us, we we want that. That's our idea when we go into relationships. Now, the people that we are dealing with or have dealt with, that's not their mindset. They have a different mindset. They're probably of the world. They probably are stuck in reprobate mind. They probably don't live for the Lord. They don't know the Lord. They don't understand the Lord. You feel me? So... Because of this, you have been in a place where you have got hurt. You have been broken. You know, you, you're you always getting the short end of the stick. Um, it's important to know that you shouldn't give up on love or you shouldn't, you know, stop being that good man or woman that you are just because you've been hurt by these people in this world. So, mind you, you you're the hurt one. You're the one always, you know, getting done wrong. Um, this video is called Let Them Watch. So... You got to start leveling up. You got to start, you know, doing what you're supposed to do and walking in your purpose and going higher because God is calling all of his men and women higher. He wants us to really be, you know, fulfilling our destiny. He wants us to really be the man or woman that he designed you to be. A lot of us, we have went through things in childhood that molded us the way we are today. We've taken the pain and the trauma and the obstacles and the things that we had to overcome in our childhood with us today. God wants you to let those things go. A lot of those things that went on in your childhood, they were meant to teach you and to mold you. That's what they were supposed to do. That's what they did. They molded you. Now it's time for you to let that go. It's time for you to adopt a Christ-like mindset. And it's time for you to be all that you are supposed to be. Um, he wants you to, you know, work on your, your finances. He wants you to, you know, budget your money and be out there making money. He wants his people to be proactive and productive. He wants us to, you know what I'm saying, get everything that we deserve. He doesn't want us to be in lack or in constant states of poverty or, you know, abusing the system with like welfare, food stamps. He don't want us doing that. He wants us to really, you know, work hard for the things that we desire and be diligent in everything that we're doing. Also, he wants you to, you know, um, restore the relationships that you have already. Like if you are, if you have a broken relationship with one of your parents, he wants you to restore that. If you have a broken relationship with your siblings, he wants you to, you know, fix that, cultivate that, restore that. Everything that's in your life that is broken, God wants you to start working on those things and fix it. If you have like an unhealthy diet, if your body is overweight, he wants you to, you know, get in shape. He wants you to start working on yourself and improving and growing and, like I said, going higher and becoming all that. You know you can be and all that God has called you to be. So while you're doing this, these people that did you wrong, they're going to be watching you. Yes, the enemy, he sits and he lurks and he prowls like a roaring lion seeking to kill, steal, and destroy. The enemy, he works through people. He loves to find a person like you and I, a good person, and work through a person to try to destroy us. Because the enemy is a coward, once again, so he's not going to, you know... Do nothing too crazy, but he will try to play those tricks on you and those mind games and send like a decoy in your life. Somebody who acts like they love you or thinks they love you, but really they're being used by the enemy because they're not in, you know, relationship with the most high God. So, yes, the enemy will try to use people to destroy you. And it's important that you know this because you have to have on your discernment glasses and always looking and seeing like, people's motives and what they're doing, what they're saying, how they're treating you behind closed doors, how they're treating you in public and private. You need to be looking at all of that. You need to be really vetting out a person. You need to really be 
understanding what what this person is trying to do in your life and if you see anything i want to challenge you to check it check it at the front door don't let people just sit around and play with you don't be peeping stuff and not saying nothing it's okay to peep maybe like one thing and be like okay give it the benefit of the doubt but if you start to see habits in a person you need to come to them and be like hey what's this about and of course they're not gonna have no answer because they're playing games with you and then after that goodbye a lot of people may think like oh my gosh daniel you're so beautiful you're so pretty why don't you have a man why don't you have any children blah because i don't play no games with these men i don't not at all i don't play no games with these men and you shouldn't either if you're a woman don't play no games with no man because men at the end of the day they know what they're supposed to be doing they choosing to live the type of lifestyle that they live and it's messing up the whole realm of things imagine if men started to do what they were supposed to do and be godly and God-fearing men and lead, protect, provide, serve. Imagine if they was doing that, how much better the world would be. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't let no man play with you if you're a woman and vice versa. If you're a man, do not let these women play with you because women love to play games as well. They love to play mind games. They love to play tricks. They love to use and manipulate good men that are doing for them and providing for them. And just don't let, don't let nobody play with you. It don't matter what gender you is. Don't let nobody play with you. So like I was saying, these people, they're going to be watching you. They're going to be stalking you. They're going to be trying to, you know, hit up your friends, trying to see what's up with you. They're going to be trying to hit up your parents, trying to see what's up with you. They're going to be trying to, you know, really find out what you're doing because you're not going to be talking to them because you're going to be so busy working on yourself. You're going to be so busy growing and God is going to be preparing a table for you. Like this verse says, everything that you have right now, God is going to amplify that. He's going to exalt you. He's going to bring you higher and it says he's going to do this in the presence of your enemies so yes these people are going to be watching and some of us we may still love these people that hurt us or harmed us or tried to seek to kill still and destroy us but it's important that you just separate yourself from them because at the end of the day if they are really in reprobate mind they're probably going to be like that forever but if they are in a season where they are just being used by the enemy maybe god will change their hearts i don't know but you just have to pray about it but just understand that they watching you and god is doing something with you in this season and then it says, you anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Like I said, God wants to anoint you. He wants to bless you beyond measure. He wants to do something in your life that is un unimaginable to the human eye. He wants to take you to new heights. God is going to do something for you once you start to really, you know, abide by these rules as far as, you know, letting people watch you and not being in relation with them and not being connected with them and not talking to them. You have to separate yourself from them because at the end of the day, they're wicked. They're acting wicked. They want to be wicked. You got to separate yourself. Once you do that, God is going to begin to work on you and he's going to begin to bless you beyond measure. It's going to be so extreme. It's going to be so miraculous. Everything that you thought you could have, you're going to get it. That new car that you've been waiting for, that home, that relationship with a really good man or a really good woman, a really good godly God-fearing man or woman, a believing man or woman, he's going to bless you with that. Some of us, we want to have children. He's going to bless you with a bunch of beautiful kids and you're going to, you know, live with your spouse. Y'all going to ask for me in my house. We will serve the Lord. Yeah, y'all going to be serving the Lord in y'all family. You feel me? Everything that you can even imagine that you want God is going to give it to you and you're going to have everything and you're going to be like wow Lord what do I do next what you do next is you give glory to God's name and you continue to serve the kingdom and be a kingdom man or woman God is going to bless your finances he's going to restore all of that debt he's going to take you out of debt you will no longer be server to the lender you will no longer be borrowing money from nobody you're going to have it all God is going to give it to you this year this season but you have to live for him. You have to stop being in fellowship with the wicked. You have to work on yourself. You have to commit your life to the most high God. Give him all of your time. Give him all of your energy. Have a prayer life. Have a prayer closet. Get into the word of God because the word of God has peace in it and it has understanding in it. Do what you're supposed to do so that God can really bless you because once your ways are pleasing to him, he's going to give you peace. He's going to have your enemies be at peace with you. This person that is watching you, they're your enemy at this point. They may have once upon a time been your boyfriend, been your girlfriend, been your spouse, been your brother, been your sister, been your cousin, whatever. But at this point, they're your enemy and they're going to be watching you. So let them watch. But remember that God is preparing a table in front of you. He's doing it in the presence of your enemies. He's going to anoint you with oil on your head and your cup is going to run over. It's going to be too many blessings. You're not going to understand what to do with them. So be ready for that. 
So look, I pray that this message blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.